So what is the gut? Now there's the ancient Greece, Greek physician Hippocrates. He once said that all disease begins in the gut. Now we're centuries later and it turns out he was right. So when we're talking about the gut, just know that it includes everything from the mouth down to the large intestines. Doctor, scientists, researchers, everybody's starting to realize how powerful the gut truly is. So if, the way I like to think about it is that if our body is the car, the gut is the engine. And I can't stress this, the importance of this enough. The gut is the epicenter of all disease, all dysfunction. And not, like I said, it's not just for our kids either. So our gut is loaded with bacteria and it helps us do things like digest food, regulate our immune system, which experts say it's up to 70% of our immune system is in our gut. It can help control our mood, that's up to 90%. Those feel good chemicals, serotonin, that's produced in the gut. It regulates our hormones, eliminates toxins, and much, much more. So you can see why when there's dysfunction in our kids' guts or in ours, everything that it can affect it's are you guys seeing how powerful this is all right so the first key concept is the microbiome now when you hear the word bacteria it may frighten you at first after all we're groomed growing up to view bacteria as a bad thing we want to avoid it like the plague i mean we buy the cleaning products that are specifically designed to get rid of bacteria we use the what's it called purell put it on our hands so we don't have bacteria on our hands and while you definitely don't want to stop cleaning off your counters and toilet bowls, the gut bacteria is actually a really good thing. So out of the 100 trillion bacteria inside us, there are literally hundreds of different species, each one playing a different role. And the bacteria, that whole ecosystem is commonly referred to as the microbiome. So it's all those bacteria, all the different strains, all together, we just call that the microbiome. That's a word we're going to be using throughout the rest of this training. And it's that microbiome that keeps our children strong, healthy, and affects just about every other system in the body. Now, why even care about the gut? Now, I can really get down in the weeds here with study after study and research paper, but for the sake of simplicity and time, I'm just gonna highlight the findings of the latest research, but not get into the actual details of each study. If you wanna dive deeper into the medical literature, which I can't tell you how many hours that I've been in that, posted links into the members area where you can dive in and start researching it yourself. So the gut impacts digestion and what nutrients we take from food, the immunity, our mental mood and mental health, our weight and our weight point, like our set point of what our, our normal weight is, inflammation, brain development, sociability, all that type of stuff. And it's interesting because research shows that children with autism have issues with their gut. They have abnormal colonies of digestive bacteria in their intestines. They have more bad bacteria than good. They have less diversity. And they have another issue, which is called leaky gut, which I'll get to in a little bit. But around 70% of the people that they've tested with autism also have gastrointestinal problems. And this is just another interesting aside, but autism is often diagnosed at the same time that our gut flora becomes established, indicating there's even a deeper connection between autism and gut flora. 